Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Luigi Boy Cesarte. At ito po ang aking report kay Sir Bilale. Bago po ang lahat, ipapakita po muna ako sa inyong short video about po sa Region 2.
<clears throat> so ayan na po kita kita naman po natin kung gaano kaganda mga lugar dito sa Ilocos region at kaya naman po pala ito ay lapitin ng mga turista hindi lang po sa mga lugar dito kundi po sa mga kulturang Pinoy so bago po natin simula ng aking report magpapakilala po muna ako ako po si Luigi Boy H. Lazarte from Poblacion San Luis Batangas I, I graduated at Swiss Montessori School sana po ay mag enjoy kayo sa aking report Okay. Ito po ang aking report, Region 2. Tagaya Valley Region. Area and location. The region is located at the northern northeastern part of mainland Luzon, covering an area of about 26,858.79 square kilometers. Ganun pa lang kalaki ang hektarya ng Tagaya Valley Region. Akala natin ang liit lang. Kung dito natin sa mapa, ang liit-liit lang ng Pilipinas pero hindi pa natin alam na malawak pa lang ito at marami pa pa lang magandang tanawin dito sa Pilipinas. It is be bounded on the east by the Sierra Madre Mountain Range, on the west by the Caraballo and Cordillera Ranges and the north by South China Sea. Geographic profile, the climate is dry from December up to May and wet from June to November. Hot months are from March to May, sometimes extending up to August. So, ayan po ang ating geographic profile ng Cagayan Valley. May... Ang ating pong klima ay dry sa December hanggang May. At wet naman po tuwing June to November. At tuwing tag-init naman po, ang buwan ng tag-init po sa Cagayan Valley ay March at minsan po ay nag-extend oh, pa ito at nagiging, na, na, nagiging August po People As of 2000, the population of the region was registered as 2813159 The local speak Ilocano Ibanag, Itawes and Tagalog In Botanes, the people speak Ivatan, English is generally understood and spoken region-wide. May tuturing na daan papasok sa Cagayan Valley region ang Nueva Vizcaya. Naglilikid ng mga bundok sa tatlong lugar ang lalawigan. Ang Sierra Madre sa Silangan, ang Caraballo sa Timog at Cordillera sa Kanluran. Ang ibang bahagi ay mababang burol, lambak at kapatagan. Mga sanga ng Magat River ang dumadali sa lalawigan. Mabundok din ang Quirino. Mga 18% na lalawigan ay mga bundok na nagdurok tong sa Sierra Madre Mountains at palaki mamparang mountains. Kagaya nga po nang sabi dito sa uh, dito po sa Dito po sa geo geographic profile. Kagaya ng ibang pang sa Ilagang Luzon, tuyo ang klima mula Nobyembre hanggang Abril. Sa ibang buwan, pantay ang lakas ng ulan. Sa Batanes ay malamig at maangin, madalas daanan ng bagyo ang Batanes, kaya't mababa at liyari sa bato ang mga bahay doon. So kaya pala, ang mga mapakonsin natin, ang mga bahay sa Batanes ay yari sa bato kasi sabi nga dito, madalas daw bagyuhin, ang Batanes. Mga tao, marami sa mga nanira sa region 2 ay ang mga dayuhan mula sa kalapit na region. Matatagpuan dito ang mga Tagalog at Ilocano na apit lumipat dahil sa saganang troso sa region. Tahanan din ng iba't ibang pangkat etniko ang region tulad ng Ibatan sa Batanes, ng mga gadang at Ibanag sa Cagayan, Isabel at Nueva Vizcaya. May mga dumagat, isneg, ita, igorot, kalahan at iwak na naninirahan sa mga bundok. Dito sa lugar na to ay maraming naninirahang mga iba't ibang uri ng tao. Tulad nga nung sinabi ito mga igorot, dumagat, iba't ibang mga tao. 
lahat po sila ay naririraan sa mga bundok. At kaya po maraming mga dayuhan na gusto timara dito dahil sabi nga dito maraming mga troso at mga magandang reliyon ng kanilang gusto puntahan dito. Karamihan din po sa mga karamihan din po sa Ilocos Region 2 ay marunong ng wikang Ilocano at Tagalog bagamat kinigamit para nila ang kanilang sariling dialekto tulad ng ibata at banaan. Kahit, so kahit po sila ay taga Pilipinas, meron po silang iba't ibang lingwa o dialekto. Tulad po natin, kung taga po tayo, ang ginagamit lang po natin dialekto ay ito, yung normal na Tagalog. Para pagpunta po natin sa Ilocos, iba't iba po ang maririnig natin salita mula sa kanila. Iba't ibang dialekto po maririnig natin, yung mga pagsasalita po nila ng Ilocano, yun po ang maririnig natin pagpunta sa Ilocos. Pero din naman po lahat, meron po doon mga normal na salitang Tagalog lang ang kanilang sinasabi. Kabo. Proceed po tayo sa Capital Tugigaraw City. Area and Location. Katayang province lies on the northern sea part of Luzon. It has aggregate land area of 9,002.70 square kilometers which cons constitutes 3% of the total land area of the country, making it the second largest province in the region. It is bounded by the mountain range of the Sierra Madre on east extending up to the beaches of the coastal towns, the south by Isabela province, on the west by Cordillelas, and on the north by the Balintang Channel, Babuyanes, and San China Sea. About 2 km from the northern northeastern tip of the province is the island of Palawi. A few kilometers to the west is Fuga Island, the Babuyan group of islands which includes Kalayan, Dalupiri, Kamigin, and Babuyan Claro is about 50 to 60 nautical miles north. Laki rin pala nitong Tugigaraw City. Meron siyang 9,000 9,002.70 square kilometers napakalaki nito parang kalus kaparehas lang nito nung Cagayan Valley ang kabuhayan ng mga taga Ilocos Region 2 ay pagyasaka pa rin at karniwang hanap buhay si Region 2 pangunahan po ng doktorito ang palay, mais tab at tabako masiglang industriya rin irito ang pagdotroso paglilok ng kahoy, at paggawa ng mga produktong yari sa yantok. May mga malilit ding minahan dito. So, dito po sa region 2, halos lahat po ng kanilang gamit ay gawa sa mga kahoy. Hindi po gaya dito na imported kung gawa po kung saan sa bubog, sa glass, sa simento. Pero pag po tayo nagpunta ng Ilocos, halos lahat po ng kanilang ginagamit doon ay kahoy. Kasi po, mahilig po silang magtroso. At more on, marami, gupat nga po, marami po mga kahoy doon. How to get there? Domestic airlines fly to Tugigaro on regular schedules. Various bus companies like Victor Liner Autobus leaves ban from Cagayan every day. So, pag pupunta po tayo doon, uh, sasakay lang po tayo ng mga trans bus or yan po mga companies like Victory Liner Autobus Live Manila for Cagayan pag po tayo doon meron man pong tayo masasakyan ng mga bus na nabiyahe papunta pong Ilocos dinarayo rin ng mga tourist ang mga nat natural na attraction sa rehiyon tulad ng mga kweba, aplaya mga baybay dagat at mga natural na parke Then, dito ang mga kweba ng Kalyaw sa Peña Blanca, Cagayan, ang Birhen ng Piat, sa Cagayan ay dinadayo rin ng mga debotong katoliko. Marami talagang mga mga magandang lugar dito sa Ilocos. Kaya pala lagi itong idinadayo ng mga turista. Tulad ng sinabi dito na kweba, aplaya, mga baybay dagat at mga natural na parke. Cagayan River or Rio Grande de Cagayan, large parts of the province. 
Cagayan River is the Philippines' mightiest water course, the longest and wildest river in the country. So, yung palang Cagayan River or Rio Grande de Cagayan ay tinuturing na longest and wide, widest river in the country. So, ito palang ilog na to ay mahab, malapad at mahaba ang kanyang laki. Ito po ay hindi pangkaraniwang ilog lamang na makikita natin dito sa atin ng mga pahaba lang. Pag po tayo nagpunta ng Cagayan River or Rio Grande de Cagayan, makikita po natin ang lawak nito at ang haba. Kalyaw Caves. These caves boast massive limestone and other rock formation, skylights and a chapel. Takaradyang flight of thousands of bats from their cave as duck is also made. Yung pong, yung pong Kalyaw Caves, yung po ay binubuo ng mga malalaking bato. Kung baga po parang tinatawag natin na bahay na bato. Parang ganun po. Ito po ay puro malalaking bato pinagsama-samang malalaking bato para mabuo po itong Kalyaw Caves. Next naman po tayo ay Igwig Calvary Hills. A duplicate of the 14th station of the cross is situated atop and and a hectare rolling turn overlooking the Cagayan River. Pag po nagpunta tayo dito sa Igwig Calvary Hills, makikita po natin lahat ng magandang tanawin. Dahil sabi nga po dito, the turn overlooking the Cagayan River so overlooking po magaganda nakikita po natin yung mga para pong nasa mataas tayong lugar tas overlooking kitang kita natin yung mga nasa baba natin yung mga magandang tanawin so, next yung po tayo oldest bell in southeast asia the bells is in Kalaminugans Jacinto de Polonia Parish forged in 1595 napakatagal na pala ito Sinuunang panahon pa, 1595 pa. It was brought to Manila in February 1937 as part of attraction during the 33rd International Eucharistic Congress. Dito ba tayo? St. Peter's Cathedral Poblacion, Togigaraw. Parang ano to, yung mga St. Peter sa patay. This is the seat of the Act Diocese of Tugigaraw. A picture of it hangs in the Basilica in Rome. It is considered one of the most beautiful works of art in the world. Wow! Ito pa lang, St. Peter Cathedral Poblacion, ay ito pa lang, tinuturing na pinakamagandang beauty, pinakamagandang art sa buong mundo. Pinakamagandang gawa ng tao sa buong mundo. Sabi niya po dito, It is considered the one of the beautiful works of art in the world. The Miraculous Lady of Latvia, considered the antipolon of Northern Luzon, the make of the devoted and the primary center of the Grand Valley. Proceed naman po tayo sa Isabela. Capital, Ilagan. Area and location. At 10,665 square kilometers, Isabela comprises almost 40 percent of the regional territory making it the largest province in the region and the second largest province in the country in the country in terms of land area so ito po ang Isabela ay napakalaki din ito ay tinuturing na pangalawa sa pinakamalaking probinsya dito sa region 2 so di natin ano kung ganong kalaki yun It is located at the northern part, northeastern part of Luzon, bounded on the north by Cagayan, on the south by Nueva Vizcaya, Quirino, and Aurora, on the west way by Kalinga, Apayao, Ifugao, and Mountain Province, and on the west by the Pacific Ocean. So, ito pong Isabela ay nakapwesto dito sa northeastern part ng Luzon. Doon po natin siya makikita. Geographic profile. The eastern area is straddled by the Sierra mountain range, is rugged and thicky forest. A big portion remains uncharted and unexplored, and is home to a variety of flora and fauna. Other areas have been declared government reservation. The western area is generally flat, coastal area is a small sweep of flat rolling land. 
The eastern coastal areas is a small strip of flat rolling rainfall evenly distributed throughout the year. The western part, part has a wet and dry season. So ito pong Isabel ay laging tag, minsan po itag ulan at tag tuyo. Tourist attraction. Ito po yung mga tourist spots or tourist attraction na makikita natin dito sa Isabela. Ang Aguinal de Swain Palanan, Church of Alicia, Church of Ekagwe, and Dibulo Waterfalls. Magat Dam Tourist Resort Complex, Our Lady of Visitation Church, Palanan Rainforest Palanan, St. Matthias Church, San Pablo Church, Nuestra Señorita de Atoka Alicia, St. Rose de Lima Church, Santa Victoria Caves. Yun lang po. So, ang Aguinaldo Shrine, this was where General, this was where General Emilio Aguinaldo was captured by American forces ending Philippine Revolution in 2019. Church of Alicia. The church is famous for its antique Spanish, Spanish architecture. So, ito po Church of Alicia ay uh, pinaka kumbaga, famous church kasi po yung pong church na ito ay sinauna pa antique antique Spanish architecture po gumawa po ng mga is, is Spanish noong unang panahon so napakatagal na po nito kaya po siya tinawag na antique dahil sinaunang panahon Church, church of Ecagüe Ecagüe This particular church has a unique architecture that is hardly found anywhere in the Philippines. Ito pong Church of Echagüe, ito po ay makikita na, kung titinan po natin ito, ito po ay kakaibang design. Kaya po siya sinabi unique architecture dahil yung gawa niya po, yung gawa po ng Church of Echagüe ay kakaiba yung design. Dibulo Waterfalls. The waterfalls has an estimated length of 1.5. 100 meters. It's being studied as possible power and energy source. Ito pong Dibulo Force ay may habang 100 meters. So, kung isipin po natin, napakahaba po nitong Dibulo Force. Dibulo, Dib, Dibulo Water Force. Magat Dam Tourist Park, Tourist Park, Tourist Tourism Resort Complex. Asia's biggest dam project. The reservoir area so, ito pong Magat Dam Tourist Resort, ito po ay pinak, isa sa pinakamalaking proyekto ng Asia na ginawa noong unang panahon. Our Lady of Visitation Church, House and Miraculous Lady of the Visitation, which is visited with many devotees, especially every July to her feast day. So, marami pong, marami pong nagpupunta dito sa Our Lady of Visitation Church. Maray pong de deboto ang mga napunta dito tuwing July 2, which is Feast Day. Palanan Rainforest, the Philippine largest ex existing rainforest, situated at 800 feet above sea level. So, sobrang ano po nito, mga lalim, dahil 800 feet above sea level. It's some numerous unknown Spe species of the flora and fauna and has exceptional biodiversity. St. Matthias Church, an 18th century ultra Boracoy church, unique for its extensive use of big day, both for wall finishing and for ornamentation. San Pablo Church, it built in 1625 under the supervision of Spanish mission, Padre de Santo Tomas. So, ito pong San Pablo Church ay napakatagal na palang ito na yun, no? 16, 25 pa. Ito po ay isang, ito po ay, ito pong church na ito ay isa sa pinakamatandang simbahan sa ating probinsya. Sa region 2, Nuestra Senora de Atoc, Atocha, Alicia. One of the oldest churches in the province was built during the Spanish period. So, ito po pong Nuestra Senora de Atocha. <laughs> Atocha ay ginawa pa noong panahon ng mga Espanya. 
St. Rose de Lima Church, one of the oldest Spanish, Spanish church in the province. So, it, ito pong halos lahat po pala ng mga simbahan ng nakaraan ay gawa noong panahon ng mga Spanish. So, ito, ito pong de Lima Church ay isa sa mga pinakamatandang church sa probe, pro, probinsya. Santa Victoria Caves, Fuyo National Park, Ilaga. Famous for its stalacities and stalagmites, the site is ideal for splunking. So, ito pong Santa Victoria Caves ay sikat dahil maganda po itong tambayan. At maganda po ang mga nakikita natin dito sa Santa Victoria Caves, Fuyo National Park. So, yun lang po ang aking report. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Sana po ay meron po kayong naintindihan sa aking report. Region 2, Cagayan Valley, Batanes Province, and Quirino Province. I'm Adrian Jerry Calde, graduate of Accountancy, Business, and Management in Lemery Senior High School. Current student of Hospitality Management in Lemery Colleges. Table of Contents, Logos, Map, and Estimated Population, Tourist Attractions, Popular Delicacies. Region 2, Cagayan Valley, Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Quirino. Cagayan Valley, designated as Region 2, is an administrative region in the Philippines, located in northeastern section of Luzon Island. Most of the land area is situated on the valley between the Cordilleras and the Sierra Madre mountain ranges. As you can see in the screen, this is the logos of the Cagayan Valley provinces. Batanes province, Quirino province, and estimated population. Batanes Provinces is an archipelagic province in the Philippines situated in the Cagayan Valley region. Basco Lighthouse. The 60-story lighthouse was erected in Nady Hills. It provides an imposing and ob an obstructed view of the Mount Eraya to the north. West Philippine Sea and the Basco Town proper to the south. Raku Apayaman. It was the American tourist that coined the moniker Marlboro country because of its similar contour and endless rolling hills and wide swept communal pasture lands for cows, carabaos, and horses. Casaril. It was built between the 16th and 18th century and is now the seat of the provincial government. It was burned down on December 15, 1856. But after a series of renovations and expansions, it was unveiled on March 24, 2007. House of Dakai. Built of lime and stone and might be the most photographed Ibatan house in the island. It was named after Jose Dakay Estrella. The favorite nephew of Luisa Estrella, the owner. It was acknowledged a UNESCO heritage building. Pag-asa radar station. This is the north most station of Pag-asa in Luzon. The reason why Batanes is frequently mentioned in Typhoon Storm updates being the northernmost reference point. This used to be a USA weather station and climbing to the top of it will offer you great panoramic views over the island. Honey Coffee Shop An unmanned Refreshment store with 
which has become famous worldwide showcasing Ibatan's has honestly. There is no standby seller. The owners rely on, on the honest of its customers when paying for goods taken from the store. And the, the Batanes Province Tourist Attractions, Mount Carmel Chapel, popularly known as Tokon Chapel, it was heavily inspired by the Ibatan Stone Houses. Pandasyon Pasita. It is a premier hotel and art museum that was once the home and the studio of Pasita Abad. Internationality, internationally renowned Filipino-American contemporary painter. Bologan Boulder Beach. This popular known for its long stretch of boulders due to Mount Araya's eruption in 400 AD. And, is, and, and it is the Quirino provinces is a landlocked province in the Philippines located in Cagayan Valley. The Ganano Falls. It is located at Baguio Village. Aglipay Caves and Campsite. About 37 chamber cave system idea for spelunking with 8 chambers developed for caving for ethesiasis of different levels of ability. Pinsal Falls Governor Rapids Famous for its gigantic limestone formation which serve as shelter for dumagats and adventures. Sita Nature Parks Madela Ecot Tourism Park is a seven-stage waterfalls. And Junoan Falls are located at Barangay Dismungal Natig Nagtipunan Kirino. Maria Angela Falls, it is located at Jose Ancheta. Diamond Cave, meeting the locals as one passes through creeks and hills in 30 minutes trek from the main road brings the right amount of excitement of spelunking at the enchanting Gibbon Cave at Landingan, Nagtipunan, Quirino. Batanes Province, Delicacies. It is already captivated by the beauty of the northernmost steep of Philippines. The magic of Batanes continues as we discover and experience its food. Find out how yummy and titemic Ibatan dishes are from freshly caught mahi-mahi, flying fish, and lobsters to grass-fed cows, organic pork, fruit crops, and vegetables. And Pension Ibatan it's just a few minutes away from the airport. It does up. It doors open in two thousand eight and has this be, since been serving authentic Ibatan specialty cuisine. Coconut crab. These crabs are known for the sweet meat and aligi. Polbanas. Walking distance from Mahataw Church in Polbanas. We had Lonis, Isnaladan Talong, Benis, and turmeric rice, and 300 pesos a head. And Mahi Mahi is a staple in this part of town, so you'll see a bunch of them being dried under the sun for preservation purposes. 
flying fish, whether grilled, dried, or made into a kilawin, kilawin, freshly caught flying fish is def definite must try. Crino province de delicacies. Already captivated by the beauty of the northernmost tip of the Philippines. The, Batan, the magic of Batanes continues as we discover and experience its food. Style, style cooking can be described as bland, using only salt, sauce, soy sauce, and vinegar as condiments. It's not hard to see that locally Batanes like to maintain a very healthy lifestyle. Here are some of the dishes you should try. Dinakdan, an appetizer made of red pigs, part blended with pig's brain or mayonnaise. Tapuy. Tapuy also is spelled tapuay or tapay. It is a rice wine produced in the Philippines. It is a traditional beverage or originated from Banawe and the Mountain Province. Royal Tabikoy, one of the unique and food finds were Royal Tabikoy. Thank you, Bob.